Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Sniper Reno 9000 and Misspell Tree. In the booth with me is Muppet Pac-Man and Calcium. Hello! Hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Misspell Tree has uh, Wood Elves and is down quite a bit of TV. Though actually not that much, right? Got three journeymen. Um, so like that adds 210, so it actually isn't as low as it seemed. But she still does get a wizard and a babe. Um, so like 200 down. Uh, well, yeah, 170 down actually. Yeah, put, put in 30 for the babe. So yeah, we're only 170 down. Uh, Sniperino is presumably a good player Zolt rather than a new coach. <laughs> and he's got a pretty flipping rowdy chaos team. Very nice team. Classic scary, match but... versus dash, isn't it? You know, Chaos have got to bang out men's in short order. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, there you go. Like <laughs> <laughs> You're just showing Kelsey what he was talking about? <laughs> yeah. Instant. It's not good having no bench versus this Chaos team. Who is the no, but Miss, Miss, Bold, Miss Bold won't be unhappy about that. That's what those loners were bought to do, wasn't it? Just to die on the LOS. Yes, but still, you still need you still need every elf you can get, don't you? Like that's the thing. So, like, of course, they're they're, they're terrible, and you're really only looking at your dancer to do anything. But like, there's nothing else to the team. This is uh, this is a pretty nothing team, isn't it? Really, to be honest, <laughs> you know, saying you're not that worried about the, the loner elves, they're like they're not even that bad when you look at the rest of it. You've really just got the dancer here, and I guess the the one turn from the catcher. Pretty ropey team. So we won dancers, oh Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, no, there's a there's a strip dancer, but oh, okay. but like just, it's just, a, just nearly a rookie dancer, right? I guess it's not great when the tree is arguably the second best player on your team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move up tree's incredible. <laughs> probably should GFI with him. He probably maybe he shouldn't have even blissed with him. Like, okay, he's got the removal, but it's like it's not a good player. Like, it's a catcher, rookie catcher. I don't think it's worth exposing you. A claw, you, your only no, your only tackle. Yeah, well. Oh wow. Three tackle, but one. Oh god. Oh my god. On sport carry. I don't know about this tight cage here. No. <laughs> I mean, it's there got is guard on. Guard. Yeah, yeah there, you're right, Muppet. There's guard on two points, so there's no one D option here. But still, tight there's cage. Still, with there's a still a in fucking play. tree smashing into your cage option, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, that's a good option. I like that one. Yeah. Mighty blow blitz back. See you later, mate. I mean that is the thing about having this dancer, isn't it? Getting those mighty blow hits on on a beast man is good, but I I wouldn't mind it just blitzing the like blitzing this tackler because like he's the he's the main attrition piece, isn't he? With mighty blow tackle, uh, well he's not he's not actually not because there's not that many with with dodges there, but he's the main way to take care of the dancers, I guess, because this yeah. can put a dancer down with wrestle tackle, but unlikely to hurt it. The claw palm has, has got to tee off on crap elves, really. Um, and obviously the ball carrier isn't going to want to be hitting dancers, so yeah, it's it's a weird. Yeah, kill all the guard goats, then one V to win. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird, like it's a weird elf team. She's done really well to get this far with uh, not much of a team, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of guard, hasn't he? This is a, this is a, similar to a few teams in black box uh, on Fumble. There's a few. Do you remember the one calcium that had like four legend, four legend chaos warriors and a legend ball carrier? Do you remember that one? I have got a vague recollection of that team. <laughs> Apparently, they collectively reached to two thousand SPPs. Um, yeah, yeah, I got a vague recollection of that, Jim. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> you know, like that that sort of thing happens, doesn't it? And then, and then that's the perfect thing. Just have guard, just have guard goats to support them, and that's all you need, isn't it? Oh yep. wow, big pile on. Can't and can't foul with so few players, can you really? Um, can someone ban Mongoose? It wasn't WMDs <laughs> in the box, all right? <laughs> but but that is the most famous Claw Pom team in Black Box, for sure. Yeah. The Studmen. The Studmen were my ogre team. 
the, the studmen were my ogre team that was uh that was that I did for uh, I did for fumble there was like so there was a fundraiser wasn't there there was a fundraiser uh and I was like I'll play some ogres and then and then I did and I, I absolutely yeah Roid Rage Babes is the one yeah of course <laughs> for those who don't know it's the Roid Rage Babes which is calciums calciums I don't I don't know if uh I don't know is it is is it a fetish or is it just uh, a preference but uh <laughs> i really do like muscly women <laughs> <laughs> guilty as charged <laughs> oh, dear. Who, oh irene irene was the minnow <laughs> yeah, that's right yeah 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 queen irene <laughs> yeah oh, brilliant Ooh, oh, oh, that we're not we're not gonna have guard on every corner here. <laughs> yes, Guru, yeah, yeah, good find. Hello, fire here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kazuma did like dirty play, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this foul, Kaz? Love it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Kaz. <laughs> uh, don't, I wouldn't have done that one. <laughs> Every every elf is a valid target as far as I'm concerned in this game. Anytime yeah. you you can take the opportunity to stamp on elves, you know, this is no time to be selective with DP. Just stamp away. Yeah. Do you think do you think he leaps in here for the uh, one day? The uh, well, I'm a little bit yeah, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't shore up the hole in this extended cage. Yeah. Um he has given misspelled a one D option here. Yeah. And I just tackle my blow. It's not a bad one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you could come in with the with the shit dancer. See if you see if you roll your three plus five plus, and then if you get it, the edge five recovers. Plus, you gold, yeah. Right? yeah. Um. Yeah. Strip ball's no good here, is it? So, it would be a straight five or six, wouldn't it? Yeah. You just want the tackle. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. I mean, your other options aren't ideal, are they? Satterfield yesterday was an <laughs> aberration, um, which, you know, um, that'll be the first and last time I fully support elves in my <laughs> life. <laughs> well, actually, until Jim's next game, of course. So, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm give, being, being given special dispensation by Team Fantastic so, to support high elves, you know, at this crucial time. Thanks. <laughs> At least you've got your "Ooh, I'm an elf" sound effect now. <laughs> well, I mean, there isn't a sound effect yet, but you know the clip. Of the, Ooh, look at me! I'm an elf. I can roll a two plus. <laughs> yeah, I'm an elf player. Watch me roll two plus and win. <laughs> There's be a little bit of that here and there. So. Uh... Oh, <laughs> Hello, Flicky. <laughs> Double skill with ass kicking. Ass kissing. All right, ass kissing. Yeah. I was gonna say. Oh, okay. So we are going with this. Just, just picking off the, um, picking off the back. Yeah, yeah, going for the guard as Ori said. Pick off the guards. Yeah. It's not a bad idea, is it? Hopefully that guy can't follow the cage now. So. Yeah. It's a. This Maybe. is pretty hard, though, isn't it? You, I, mean, I guess you could have just bolted as well, right? Bolt wasn't even bad there with the edge five dancer. Bolt was a severe consideration, in fact, wasn't it? It feels, um, yeah, you're right, it's a consideration, but it does feel a bit early for the bolt, doesn't it? it does. Turn two, you know, it's, it's never an optimal time to bolt, is it, regardless of the situation? It would, well, let's put it this way, it would have been super rowdy, and I don't think Miss Beltree is as rowdy as we saw a certain coach yesterday play with elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair, but it's, it's still situational, right? And, and if you feel that, you you know, your time's going to be slipping away... Um, you know, like your chances, your equity is slipping. Your, you know, the the kids are inevitably going to remove players and make it harder and harder as the match goes on. That maybe you, uh, mm. maybe you have got to use it before you lose it. There's there, there's that element of it. But, um, so so misspelled here is um, shut down that claw pommer quite nicely with double guard. Um, so. 
Sniper would have to utilise a guard to get a 2D off on that claw pommer. Yeah, and if he does, it's not protecting the ball, so he's he's in a yeah. bit of a he's in a bit of a pickle in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, Ori, um the wrestle guard is vulnerable here, but Wow, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's, that is pure bash that, isn't it? <laughs> trying trying to re-roll a failed two D. That yeah. is pure bash. And wow. when it fails, you look like a prick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did have the four wheels, so it's not the worst, but it is still very bash. It's it's rowdy because you're isolating your warrior on purpose, which is like a bit. I mean, I guess there's an element of trying to get the other guard back in by supporting him. And if you bang him out, then you then you then it's really good, isn't it? Like if you if you if you get the power there, then. And even a stun, it means you can hit the other, you can hit the line all next turn, and then uh, and recover your guards. So, so I guess it was, it wasn't as completely rowdy and crazy as it looked at first. And it is a dancer, yeah. Even though it's, even though it's a shit dancer, it's still a dancer. And who else are you gonna blitz? Yeah. You know? Oh, here we go, fireball. Oh. I really didn't like not Venga bus in there, but you know the, the fireball. Is a pretty nice one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't surprised to see it, but I think it was right that he he uh, he set up like you know to to draw the fireball rather than a bolt because last turn the bolt would have been devastating, and now this there was a good chance of this fireball not being completely fucking amazing like it is. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's just sick, isn't it? This is an absolute wide open path. This is the problem with with taking him away. I thought. Tree now can grab this guy away. Yep. Oh, he just blitz. Just gonna safe, safe blitz. Yeah, there's no one else to blitz. Is the that's the thing. Like that's the only one you need out of the way, isn't it? And you can block this one. Maybe, mm, maybe not. Maybe you can block this one. No, I guess you can. Mm. So misspelled um has got a slight dilemma here. Um, you know, obviously the recovery is easy. But do you run the war dancer down the pitch first and then pass to the war dancer? Um, do you try to lock down this wrestle guard beastman a little bit more? I think you uh, punch the punch this guy. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah the tree's punch, coming over. Punch the warrior. But it yeah. means you've got to, you've got to dodge through non-tackle and just just run run in and back right with the edge fire. Yeah, double GFI if you have to. You can just do one GFI in fact. Yeah. Single's good here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, single GFI is good. Yep, no need to do the second. God, I hate Wood Elf so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's what are these two players? End my miserable life. Dirty player, edge movement, sure hand, strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other one? Dirty player, strength block, knee block, claw piling on. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. That was pretty standard build for me back in the day <laughs> <laughs> what, just... oh player's got a level better give him DP yeah basically amazing well pretty strong turn from tree wizard gone though yes yeah yeah but I mean it's a great turn isn't it and I'll, yeah like the whole team like it was that is kind of why I didn't like that because it made him too compact over here and there was no real way to avoid that like you know it's but it's hard right it is hard against a wizard especially if they get like an amazing fireball i don't think sniper did anything particularly wrong maybe gave um one player too many for the fireball option five as opposed to four but even you know uh, even it was just a great fireball wasn't it a bad fireball yeah. there and snipers in great shape yeah yeah that was that was the like that was the big one, yeah. Like really, it was fifty-fifty. Even like you know, 
not knocking down the ball carrier makes it not that great a fireball. Uh, but obviously, getting four out of five is unbelievable. Yeah. Jesus. This. Yep. Well, we rolls in blocks. Don't get knockdowns, but I mean, gotta do something, so. Yeah, the reroll was fine there. You know, sniper's fast approaching fuck it mode. <laughs> yeah, he really is, yeah. I, I think he's already there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell's and whenever you're a bash coach with a team like this, every time you fail to break armor seven with mighty blow, a little piece of you dies inside. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why pile on? Because just because of the desperation, like he's just he's just desperate. I think he's correctly identified <laughs> that it is absolute desperation stakes from now. So he's he's just got to he's just got to try and high roll because it's like it's just shit's fucked. <laughs> If he Basically. doesn't do it, he loses. If he does it, he probably still loses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shit's fucked. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basic the basically it's shit's fucked. Did that? Oh, glorious, Flicky. Um, right. Oh man, I need. Yeah, there's lots of art commissions I need to do. Did I? Did I? No, I didn't even say to everyone that was going live. Uh, Bit late, but I guess it's better than not doing it, isn't it? Is it a mere hundred thousand? I can afford. I can afford free art commissions. Happy days, <laughs> boy howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Will we all be for muscly women? <laughs> <laughs> That's still happening now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when you get four, you can. You, when you get four, you can get me to do the the fucking ride rage babes, right? The four legends. Oh, the Fantastic Four, yeah. In fact, that could just be one of them, right? That could just be the picture. That could be a picture. Or just all four of them, the four. Yeah. The four warriors. Yeah. Oh, come. that's it, right. I will spend 100k to make that happen. You know, sometime. No rush. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Well, this is sadly um, nowhere near as exciting as yesterday's yesterday's game due to a couple of factors. One, it's not Jim playing elves. <laughs> Two, it's wood elves, and they just suck massive balls whenever <laughs> they play. You know, so unfortunately, this feels a bit over already, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I mean, there's lack of tackle as well, right? That was the thing with with the chores. It's the, one of the reasons why chores do so well in in the playoffs compared to chaos and Nurgle is they already come with six tackle for free, and they take tackle on their balls, so they've got two move nine tackle guys essentially, right? Move move nine strength four tacklers. They've got mass tackle, so all your all of your like little dodges that don't seem that impactful. You know, you're making 35 out of 36 instead of 5 out of 6, so it's huge. Like, it's absolutely huge. Or, you know, it drains rerolls. So, like, they're so much better against Elves, Chorfs, and, uh, yeah, this is this is obviously really tough for these Chaos team. They, they're, just, they're just lacking the, the things. And, and it was a fireball. You know, the, it was a godly fireball. Absolute god tier fireball. This is one of the big problems with building Chaos teams. You know, that, that balance between you know uh murder skills and taking effective you know because let's be fair a good spread of mighty blow tackle here and the game might be entirely different as it is you know snipers failed to break armor for most of the game yeah mm -hmm. even if he rolls bows it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah so so it might be a moot point but you get what i'm saying you've got to be so careful building chaos teams because it's so tempting to just go block mighty blow claw and then worry about tackle when i think really you should be trying to build two or three players maybe with mighty blow tackle before considering claw the, the, the problem is it's just so hard isn't it because you're so skill starved <laughs> to start with that's the thing you're yeah. Like, you're, it's, yeah it's so hard like orcs can do it because they've started with four block already when you're starting with block for free then then it's really easy yeah, I don't mind Rattlers. I don't mind an, an early wrestle is almost the same as an early block, and then it gives you something, and then you can take tackle or frenzy or both, and then you've got like something a bit to tide you over until you kill it. Like obviously, once your killers get have claw pump block tackle, then they're amazing, right? And if you've got two, yeah. two block claw pump block tackle claw pump, as you're fucking laughing, you know. But uh, but until you get two full claw pumpers, it's uh, it's 
it's tricky to say the least. Who had that team the other day where they had the two mighty blow claw bombers? One of them had block, and then the other one took tackle. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. I think it might have been Andre, but I don't know. He's... Purple Chess makes a good point. Um, Rackle Beast, you know, um, would be a really good option here. Yeah. But, you know, we, we, we can be critical about the build, can't we? At the end of the day, um, Sniper's dice have been, you know, he hasn't converted plan A. And Chaos only really have a decent plan A. You know, their plan B is crap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is that their plan B is like the same as the human plan B. And they're not even that much worse at it. And that's the problem, isn't it? At high TV, they just render bit humans essentially pointless because <laughs> because their plan A is so much stronger than humans' plan A. The fact that their plan B is, is weaker. But at least they've got one. You know, they're not like... I mean, you don't really have one when you get turned over by elves <laughs> with a wizard. For a, a fireball from the gods, then uh, you don't really have one. But, like, you know, in desperation stakes. They've got some, haven't they, with the movement and the, and the edge three. They've... They're a lot better off than, say, uh, Nurgle. Um, <laughs> and Orcs even, right? They're better off than Orcs when, when, when things get a bit desperate. You know, Warriors are a lot better than Black Orcs and uh, yeah. when, when things go wrong. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, they're, they're nothing on Elves at all unless, uh, unless things happen and they have not had it happen for them. Similar to, similar to Chrissy the day, you know, if you don't get the removals, it's, it's very difficult. Flicky Flack, um, my SFL Woody team was a dark period in my life that I would rather forget. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, man. Too soon. <laughs> uh, it's turn five. So plenty of time. Shouldn't go full corner here. There's no need to go full yeah, corner. Yeah, I like to push where that uh, dancer was yeah no yeah no i don't like going full connie again like like we said like we said in the other one with our pc you know like you you want to you want to like have a line here so that next turn when they push in you can make the line here and and then yeah. the next turn when they push in you can make the line there and and you know this is where you would be on turn seven or whatever instead you're here on turn five which is a bit a yeah bit well, i prefer dodging with those guys instead of hitting yeah, maybe, and and but really, the you'd really want to be holding a line here to make it harder for them to push in. Whereas now it's it's going to be not easy, but but certainly more possible for them to uh, to push in. And he's doing work back there with a uh, two chaos where he's sadly stuck on it. Yeah, sniper will be lamenting the fact that his armor nine isn't holding up uh, as well. As misspelled armor seven. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this is a four plus dodging with a reroll. This is this is very doable, right? To two D the ball. Horns is pretty strong on every play. Yeah. I don't think you should go for the five plus no reroll rackle hit. Uh, <laughs> but you should just cancel the assist with that one, shouldn't you? Or this one. This one can cancel the assist. One of them should cancel the assist and then just go in. Just go in on a four plus for a two D, pretty good. Become the inner elf. No, don't do that way. Oh, no, tackle. no, no, this is okay because you still dodge in that way and then hit there. So then this way you're getting tackle on him. And more set. Okay, oh, yeah, you don't need to do both. But yeah, he could he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. GFI. This is pretty bad that Misspelled has even given Sniper the opportunity here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy not to have this layered or or anything. This is okay, yeah. I guess she was protecting the catcher as well as to. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I feel like. Yep, he's in. I just there gets the pout. There you go. Yeah. I guess size that means it doesn't matter what direction. <gasps> and catches the ball. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, well, I meant, I meant for this because then you would have a player yeah. free as well, right? Like that was the only oh. thing. Is the dodge GFI worth it to really get yes. into a strong position? Yes, you have to because you're getting uh, what, you, served. You, yeah, you're giving you're Are giving you? up an easy two D otherwise, isn't you? Oh no, you're not getting served. You're not getting served because this this body's in the way, isn't it? And he would have made it. As, uh... And you've got card. 
that was righteously punished. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think the dodge was worth it. But I can understand not going for it because obviously, if you fail that one in one in nine, you you, you know you've throw, you've pissed it away, haven't you? But I think being in between two guards is is too strong. So yeah, I think it was right to GFI. Uh, I didn't see if you did. He use dodge on the dodge. I don't. Know. Do you still have it? I don't know, he's got the other team reroll anyway though, so... Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think... Yeah. Load a hit. Yeah. And then catcher can come in, pick it up. Yeah, pass it to the other catcher and score, because it's going to be hard to stall now, isn't it? Oh, I thought that was a catcher. Oh, no. well, the catcher can just pick it up and score, but he's got to dodge through tackle then. One, two, three. Oh, oh well, now. Oh, he just goes through the end zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can, it, can he stall there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got he's... sidestep, yeah. Yeah, so he can just he can just GFI wants to hear. One catcher on this team, and it's like the hero of the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got you got a GFI, haven't you? Because uh, no, you don't. There's a screen there. Yeah, you don't have to GFI, but then. We're fine. Uh, yeah, you still got the edge, Five unless points. you want to like foul it or yeah, still cover that square. Oh, foul him! Yeah. Okay, foul. that's pretty good. That's pretty good there, isn't it? Yeah. So it's six plus eight now. <laughs> yeah. I like the wheel here just to not hit the arm wall. Yeah, I mean, you've only got two turns left, so there's an argument for it, but then you never know what's going to happen on the last two turns, do you? So, but you can bang it in next turn. He's yeah, not gonna want that's to what I was, I was reckoning it's going in next turn. I, yeah, Sniper's probably kicking him or herself over not making that extra GFI to get that ball carrier in a really safe position or a reasonably safe position. Mm. Like, it was miles safer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think it was worth it. Like, you know, you don't want to do it, obviously. You don't want to make a 1 in 9 that loses you the game if you fail it, but. The sack was too easy, though, wasn't it? Yeah. The counter sack was too easy, yeah. so. Yeah, I think he had to. Oh, are we piling on? He, he wants to so <laughs> I'm sick as eggs. When you talk about justice in Blood Bowl, what you think that was Wood Elf justice on the basis that they had a really, really godly wizard? <laughs> I'm not biased or nothing, but you know, um, maybe maybe you're talking about justice for the chaos team, but um, I, I get a feeling that might be le leaning towards the Wood Elves. Have I have I expressed my opinion of fuck Wood Elves at all? <laughs> yeah, this game? Uh, I think I have. No, yeah. I've not. I've not heard you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> about as about as many times as the average school or cast talking about winner three five. <laughs> 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 wow, this tackler, this mighty blow tackler has really made a solid contribution to the half, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm guessing he's a score for it now, maybe? Let's go. Yeah, I, I hope guess and that's, dream. that's all he can be, right? Double GFI. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he can double GFI here and be a scoring threat. not achieving anything going back so yeah exactly this is this is just a straight up scoring threat now the canoring threat is making making your defense a bit weaker for a incredibly speculative scoring opportunity now this is an incredibly speculative opportunity scoring opportunity where the the, the other option is just do nothing <laughs> <laughs> how do you get out yeah this is this is a bit of a conundrum isn't it uh... Your own players are sort of in the way. Yeah, I think maybe you maybe you blitz this guy and then uh, go out that way. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, punch him there. Ooh. It was very unlucky, but. And then just three plus dodge. Get the surf on. Punch him. And then one. T one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI, yeah. Not easy, but... Or, or maybe try and stall somehow, but it's going to be real hard to stall, isn't it? I guess you could stall up near the tree, maybe. I guess that's yeah, an option. Yeah, or just, like... I guess the wood essence have to leap out, and you can 
maybe get Surely the edge. stool is not an option here. Oh yeah, you've got the edge five. You've got the edge five to do the blitz, of course. Duh. Yeah. Duh. I didn't even see the edge five there. Ooh. Roll the one on the dodge. Is he on tackle? He's on tackle. He's on tackle. Yeah, I didn't see the edge five dancer blitz. You know, I, mean, I didn't see the edge five dancer. Sorry. But yeah, obviously, if you if you notice that it's an edge five dancer, <laughs> then yes, that's yeah. better than the, the three plus dodge. <laughs> if you know your own team, then you should be fine. Yeah, yeah, two twos is better than a three, isn't it? So, so that was better. Um, we're dodging of tackle now, though, without the wheel. Or a handoff to a loner? No, I think you still got to. And the, oh, but the thing was, my way cleared this one, right? My way cleared this square anyway to run through. So actually, I think going my way, it probably is better to do the, the two. There's also one last shoots. dice. Like, you needed to leap and the dodge from tackle. Yeah, but two twos is better than a three. But the problem is you need this two anyway to click if you want to score. So now I guess you've got to stall here somehow. Well, yeah, one in six to the war dancer now, isn't it? Hand off. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess that's what you've got to do now, yeah. No reroll, though. Yeah. Whew. Whew. Thanks, Rick. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dimmy will never let me forget that, Willie. And now neither will anybody else. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the hand off. Rick coming in with the usual brand of toxicity that we expect and love. <laughs> <laughs> now, surely I there's a way I to think the should have stood up. Yeah, first, yeah. but it must be dodging somewhere. No. Nope. Uh, I no. don't think it's ever dodging. No, just bad, just bad order. That's fair enough, isn't it? I I I'm, I did my blitz before moving my entire team the other day. So. <laughs> I cannot. Can, ne pass, can pass never talk about safe move first ever again. No, there could be there could be a uh, a surf on right. There's surely there's so many bodies around that you could just maybe fill up everything and surf the surf the the dance. It would be funny. Uh, it's probably not possible. Just I feel like you possible. would have to like hit the catcher, not remove it. Yeah. But then how do you fill in the, the back two? Not really. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you can't. I don't think it's fair, Jim, that you get too much stick about blitzing with your ball carrier without making things safe. You were full shirt copter at that point, <laughs> yeah. weren't you? You know, so... <laughs> yeah. it... Yep, gets the power. So yeah, it gets, gets the 2D on the ball, yeah. Yeah, with Rackle as well, which is glorious, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, make it 3D and then mm -hmm. 2D, yeah. But you, you did need the power on three in three D. So needs the both down here to yep yeah, got the yeah. both down. So ball scatter up to that chaos warrior. A beautiful pass or not? Okay. Do you know what I I, <laughs> I like moving in this warrior first just to give a minus one to the catch, um, as it happened, because you know if you pow, like the side step's got to go here or here right, and then so it goes to one of them two. Yeah. So I would I would have moved in. Was he a stand-up as well? Yeah, so I'd have stood him up and moved him in just to cover the catches, really. This is entirely Miss Bell's fault, though, isn't it? Um, Miss Bell should not be in this position at all. Yeah, yeah, I think the mistake yeah. was a few turns ago. Turn five, wasn't it, I yeah. think? And that, yeah. That, Give it, yeah, letting the edgy do the four-plus touch. Yeah. Which wasn't unreasonable to fail. Oh, man, I bet he wishes... It. Imagine if he had a re-roll now, right? Sniperino could go one, two... Three, four, five, six, lob it to him. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five, GFI handoff and score. <laughs> it would be amazing. But maybe he'll just be. do the pass. Might go yeah. for it anyway. Oh, yeah, do you know what? Whoa! Go on, you beautiful goatee bastard. <laughs> Just roll the dice. Uh, is that too far away for a long bomb? That must be on the yeah. edge of long bomb range. Yeah. Having is GFA, GFA. No, I rolled a one. Oh. Oh. Honestly, if in all of that sequence, he found a one. Maybe. Uh, I, I, I don't know. There, there, is there an argument for keeping ball in hand there? Yes, on a five plus pass. I like my idea of passing to the other one as a relay more. 
um, you yeah. know, just for the less chance of the critical failure. But yeah, once you've got there, maybe you just keep it. Yeah, and and, and funny enough, if he hadn't run him up, saying he was going to be irrelevant, if he hadn't run him up as the canoring threat, if he'd come down with him, he would have been able to screen this off and stuff, wouldn't he? <laughs> like that, yeah. that warrior could have been here or yeah. something in an amazing spot. Um, I hear, yeah, here I hear that warrior could have been, but uh, instead, this is oh my god, the the wrestle jugs can surf him. <laughs> Log six eight nine, absolutely full elf by chaos. You know you're doing something wrong if you're getting out elfed by a chaos bash team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so you can you can get the edge five in the end zone, or or you could maybe be the recovery, couldn't he? Opens with a loner, because why not? No f's given. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, at this point, I guess you've you've got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? Yeah, but I, mean, I like the wrestle blitz here, <clears throat> the wrestle jugs blitz, because then it's a two plus to surf, isn't it? Which is pretty good. And at the end of the day, you've stopped the chaos going. So. Yes, yeah, it's still a successful defense. It's cost you your wizard. Um, you've made two removals. You've taken two, so you're effective. You've effectively outbashed them, and you've. Uh... Well, that's a very pro. Wood Elf, you know, um, way of looking at things. Uh, I call fake <laughs> news on that. Basically, the Wood Elves have burnt their wizard, you know, um, and they suffered no attrition. They should be 1-0 up right now. Mm -hmm. They should be, but it's still kind of a successful drive for them, isn't it? Oh, all right, then. <laughs> 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 They may yet score. So, oh, yeah. You know. yeah, it's not even hard, look. Because, yeah, went, went for went for Blitz and that one, but needed a POW. That was the thing. So needed the 55%, got it. Very lucky, to be honest. Double G, dodge double G if I had a score. There you go. Oh, well, sickening. Sickening. Any twat can play Wood Elves, honestly. <laughs> oh, look, I'm a Wood Elf coach. <laughs> roll another two plus to win <laughs> honestly it winds me right up seriously hey, hey calcium how do you do in uh, sfl don't want to talk about it <laughs> too soon man too soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that looked good after getting the pow but um i'm not sure that you know the overall sequence but uh, obviously after getting the power it was all twos wasn't it so it was really uh, nice after getting the power yeah i think i preferred just getting the tackle zone off the ball and then Doing the same thing, please. Yeah. Yeah. God, I can't wait to the new rule set. Wood Elves <laughs> are broke to shit at the moment, aren't they? Honestly, I that, that that just didn't feel like it was deserving to me at all. But, you know, when has Blood Bowl ever been fair? Well, no, no, never, never, ever. It also doesn't feel deserving when Corpon just removes half a team, does it? <laughs> no, that's right, yeah. And, you know, ergo, Blood Bowl is not... <laughs> you know, if you if you're trying to strive for fairness and balance in Blood Bowl, you're going to be really disappointed. <laughs> yeah. If you want to play a game where you can have 100% win rate, then uh, you may want to find a different game. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly, Razor. Well. And Alof looks. Yeah. I, I, yeah. The two. I quite like the two plus serve. Yeah, I quite like the two plus serve. It's just like oh, like. There's a bit of equity in that you're surfing the ball carrier, but also just the fact that it's a fat, it's a flat two plus instead of the you know that dancer had to roll a bunch of dice to get there, and then and then you also had to roll, you know, basically a four plus to get the power on the warrior. If you, if you don't power the warrior, you're just making it harder for yourself. Aren't you? Jim, have a word with your chat. It's getting a bit brutal, isn't it? <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's wounding, that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly, Russell. That was the problem, yeah. The, the pushes are real bad. And and the... Uh, Whereas virus. Jim's way, if Jim rolls a push, he's fun. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, like, there's, there's pros and cons to both, right? Once the block yes. works, it, that, that going that way is a lot better. Probably. Um, if you're at any sentence with Blood Bowl in it, you're going to be really disappointed. Very good, Ori Lances. Are the new rules fairer? Yeah, I mean, the new rules, they stop they stop natural one-turners, and they stop elves being as good at elfing by making them less good at passing and less good at leaping, and they also remove claw pawns. So, yeah, I would say the new, the new rules are definitely fairer. What are we going for here, then? 
Yes, Miss Rothberg, elves are so easy, and that is why the never-ending AV9 meta is what CCL is. That, that is literally it, because no one really cares about winning, <laughs> you know? <laughs> because the highest win rate by far is Amazons, and you, you just don't see many Amazons. And they are, they are absolutely the uncontested highest win rate team in CCL, but just no one cares. Fair in favour of dwarves. I mean, it is it is a bit fair and fair, well. but then also elves can do things as well with the multiple rerolls in a turn as well. So, so you know that yeah. helps them as well. It will be in the next iteration of Blood Bowl anyway. Is uh, the land of the dwarves? <laughs> Every other race is just going to be biting for a piece of what's left on that cake. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to convert to a dwarf coach, Kelsey? Uh, any reports that I um, have multiple dwarf teams ready to go is just pure speculation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing is, Barney the Lurker, it depends. It depends, right? Because there's different there's different things with the new rules. Like it, de it just depends. Dw dwarves are the new meta with redraft. If there's no redraft, then you will see lots of stats. So it's uh, it just is what it is. I, I think it was Artemis that while he was um, playing the beta. Um, managed to rack up a bunch of stats. It, admittedly, loads of people conceded against him and he racked up a bunch of SPPs. But he was just purely rolling stats, wasn't he, for fun? Was he? Yeah. yeah so. without, without redraft, you will see loads of stats, like way more stats than you see now. But with redrafting, then, yeah, I think you're more likely to see, you know, rando skills to get some value uh, in the short term and then just don't keep them if you know and stuff like that so it'll be it'll be interesting it'll just but it's just all dependent on the format like team building in in blood bowl 3 or blood bowl 2020 is just entirely format dependent and we're all talking on the basis that we're even going to play blood bowl 3 yeah 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 which we're not <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough then Bezel undead undead are about the same but still but still like zones are, stones are still way up way, way above like the orcs and chaos right which are the uh which are the main races people play uh, i think kevin had a good roommate as well because uh they sort of played a few games won a few and then once they all died they just stopped playing the team so well, yeah, exactly, Megal. But like, you know, still, still, like, you know, something like Rebel, like, could choose not to use it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or, or whatever, like, tabletop leagues could just choose not to use redrafting, right? So, like, it's, it's all, and and you know, you could have the redraft cap, or you could not have a redraft cap. You'd have different lengths of season. So there's just so many things that go into what the formats are like that it's weird. He's got to blitz this catcher now, hasn't he? <laughs> I didn't expect Tree to fight, honestly. Yeah, Daka. I would have liked to have seen a Daka. I'll I'll be honest as well. But I guess maybe she's just thinking go for the two nil and and then run away. Yeah, I expected a Daka or a fast score, but then she just put a catch up there and was like, "Yeah, I'll score sometime." Blimey, Stradic. Has um, anyone ever watched Jimmy for years and not played his second of Blood Bowl? Most of us watch Jim because we're addicted to Blood Bowl and then we realise we actually like Jim. The fact that you're watching Blood Bowl when you've never played a game of it suggests that you are addicted to it without even playing it. <laughs> Making DK uncontested. The smartest person in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> what is redrafting? I I did a I did a video about it actually. Uh, let's see if I can. Seasons explained. Here we go. Did a video with Skuro about it. Um. I mean, all right, PF. That's. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't deny me my 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 hundredth of a cent from YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that, that's the that's the simple version. Yes, you rebuy your players every now and then. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough, I mean. Oh, dear. 
I wasn't sure I'm carrying on this mighty blow guy. Like, isn't he the one you want to do the blitzes with? You just do them anyway, mate. <laughs> 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 Easier if you've got a strength five to do it with. But yeah, you just do blitzes with people. I think people over egg blitz with the ball carrier. You know, like okay, it adds a certain element of risk and it can cost you positionally. Um, but then also, you know, when you look at this team, how many players are there that you really, 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 really care about? One. <laughs> how about new, all the other yep. players? Not really. Oh, do you also care about protecting the ball? Yes. So just keep it on him and then you've got both your both your eggs in one basket, right? I'd say when Blitz and Ball Carrier, the only thing you need to like, consider is, does he have stand firm? Yes, I still I still put stand firm with him as well. <laughs> yeah, like no, I wouldn't I wouldn't mangle. It's situational. I'm, I'm, I I you know I've always I've always been like that. It's it's always situational, right? And and I think people definitely overestimate how bad ball carrier blitzing is. It just it just puts your you know it just makes it a bit more risky. And it depends it depends obviously who the ball carrier is. And you know whether you, if, if your target has got wrestle, then you definitely shouldn't ball carry a blitz, which you should all notice in my game versus Cruz. When I wanted a blitz a wrestle, I did not use my ball carrier. Um, because, but yes, dodging around two plus is okay. You're adding three percent fail if you one in nine. So like it's so so unlikely. That it's not really. A Can I just um, interject there, Jim? That was actually officially the third removal from this chaos team, and the yeah. first removal since turn one. Yeah, they've they've they've, <laughs> they've they've done something, haven't they? They've started racking them up. Yeah. This is why the deck would have been a bit stronger. Yeah, but I mean, it's still hard because you've still got to turn over the woodies. You can't afford. You've got to keep the center strong here because there's this there's this hit and these hits, and you've still got to hit all the downfield threats because if they score, they they're two 0 up and they've beaten you. So like, it's still really tough. But yeah, it's it's nice for him that he's getting some removals for sure. This is a bit rowdy. I don't think you need that much pressure there, but like I'm not sure you can afford to give up the cover across the middle to get this guy here. But but you know you've got to make something happen, so fair enough. I must admit I wasn't paying a great deal of attention to this game for the last couple of minutes, but <laughs> um, misspell not pushing for the two turn. Come on, man. Uh, no, no, this was shit though, wasn't it? Blitzing with GFI Blitz, where you've yeah. got to turn over the elves <laughs> and you're GFIing for an attrition blitz. And and also this guy's position is poor. You should be screening with him because and him because you've got you've you've got a gaping hole here, easily easily get a gaping hole. Uh ball blitz with mighty blow on that claw pommer now. Just saying. Yep, yeah, yeah, might just go down the sideline. Oh no, 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 now nah, now you go through the middle. No, yeah, now he's just sure. opened it up. Yeah. Yep. Hit the claw pommer. No, not the claw pommer. The claw mighty blow. Oh, Chaos warrior. Yeah. You can even leave him on the tree, maybe. Yeah. And that's yeah. harder, isn't it? Yeah. Depends who you blitz with, I think. If you yeah, blitz from the ball... Blitz from here. How, do you, how do you blitz from here? Uh, the dancer. The dancer not holding the ball. No, Snipers he made... can't dodge. No, no. He, this one could dodge in a two and hit him, yeah, but he, yeah, it's only a two plus, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then no, you don't get you can, through. You can hit from the other corner, because the tree's gonna hit, I'm guessing, and follow. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But then you've got to hit with a tree first. Which you don't really want to do, right? I guess. Uh Sniper's overcommitted here, isn't he? Both his wrestlers over to the left. Yeah, yeah, huge. It's whole team over to yeah, the yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> monumental. Sorry, over, over to the right. Sorry, I should switch view as well, shouldn't I? Uh, so, uh... so yeah, six, seven, eight <clears throat> players uh, within five squares of the sideline is. I don't like how much tree hits instead of like taking players up together. Yeah, I I didn't like the block there. I would have much preferred to blitz him and then uh and then move the guard right. So I guess not pushing down the side then. No, tree's got to sit back now. Yeah. Yeah, didn't like that. Yeah, I, I like taking the space, but then you know maybe she worked it out and it was just too hard. Like, you know, it's it's best when you can hit with a tree first. If you can hit with yes. a tree first, it's amazing. But obviously that takes a lot of lot of balls, doesn't it? And like one in nine, you're in a pretty fucking horrible spot for no oh. reason. So if the tree had blocked, I'd have been like, yeah, let's go. 
yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty aggro to do that or is it safer to just to just mince around the middle and do nothing <laughs> not sure I'm not what sure are we doing? what's happening are we blitzing that chaos warrior then it looks like it looks like blitzing with it and then coming back into some kind of cage or I, d I don't understand how the ball's getting protected is my main concern right now I just don't know how the ball's getting protected here that's why I didn't like the uh, putting in players to hit with the guard because no, yeah, you just ran out that. of players yeah I hated that it's costing you two players instead of none right because if you, if you blitz then uh, then that's the assist already so yeah it, it cost two players making that block and I think that was not worth it I think that was a poor decision hitting the warrior T A Y T O. I mean, a tato is absolute suicide. <laughs> yes. Yeah, got into a bit of a pickle here. Mm. Boy, howdy. That's. Seems... I see dice on the board, Jim. Yep. Yeah, so trap, trap the, trap the wrestle in. Yeah. Move the tree okay. in in front of the ball. Yeah, yeah, and then... Oh, no, then no, there's the a chaos way behind that tree. Never mind. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, man. Muppet, Muppet with a 6-plus <laughs> accidental dodge. <laughs> He's got break tackle in my eyes. It's fine. <laughs> so this is just an instant 2D on the ball. Oh, no, GFI. GFI for 2D on the ball with tackle. Hmm... These elves are going to see a, a full a Chaos team in front of his face. Yep. Yeah, that was a weird turn. Very weird turn from Tree. Felt like she couldn't decide what she was doing. Like She did one thing, got pushes, changed it up. Got more pushes, changed it up again. The problem with moving the ball back is the blitz hadn't been made, so therefore you couldn't blitz this wrestle. So if you move the ball back, then the wrestle can just go through and win anyway, so it's like, it's a bit tricky. Mr. IG man, showing why he's the best player on the Chaos team. Misspelled's given way too much here in Safara's as ball, you know, ball sack attempts. Um, really, I'm, I was AFK for a second there because my phone went, but I really hated that last turn from Misspelled. She yeah. just gifted Sniper a 2D opportunity. Um, you know, hey, it's elves. They'll probably two plus their way out of trouble. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, but nonetheless, I'm, yeah. I've seen better Wood Elf play than this right now. That's for bloody sure. Yeah, I think that was the thing, right? Especially after he put his whole team up. Like, how someone can leave seven players within five squares of one sideline and then you just, like, do this. Do you know what I mean? Leave leave the 2-2 two -two on to, to hit the ball. Like, seems pretty crazy, right? Because it should have done something better. Should have found a better move. Should have done. Miss Spelled seems to be in that let's make all the blocks we can sort of mood. Yeah. Yeah, I think Which, that was definitely a just game position turn, especially as you one nil up, right? Like if you nil yeah. nil, then then maybe you've got the element of like, well, if I just punch things, I can stall it more. But you could just you could just run through there, and maybe you know, maybe maybe she thought about it and thought she couldn't get it safe, you know, like planned it all out. I don't um, know, but I why are we basing a tree what? with a claw pommer? I uh, just um. like that claw pommer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got one job, Clawpom Go <laughs> one job. <laughs> keep, keep this tree busy. Is a... Surely that Clawpom and that Wrestle DP could have been swapped about. <laughs> well, here we you go. You know, it's not it's not for us to say, Jim, whether that's a good move or an exceptionally shit, bad, awful. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing, move? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he had to tag out. He had to tag out the tree, and uh, I but, just would have done it with the wrestle and DP. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the wrestle <laughs> dirty player go as opposed to you know, the wrestle DP could reach the, could reach tag and the ball. That was the thing. Um, I think the other. I think his claw palm could as well. If you, yeah. 
if his claw pawn could, then he absolutely should have done. But I don't understand why you wouldn't tag with the claw pom if you could. So surely, surely the claw pom couldn't reach. And that's why he's, he's yeah. on tree duty. That's why he's on tree detail. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it couldn't because it's, it's absolutely nonsensical if, if, if he couldn't reach. Oh, God. Boy howdy. Oh. Boy howdy. Well, so much for tree rolling a one in nine. <laughs> Instead, just Kaz's the Kaz's the ball carrier with a loner oh, hit first block. Yeah. I mean, Wood Wood F, vanilla it. shots are the most brutal of all, aren't they? Yeah. No MB loner kill shot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kerry, Ma Kerry Meyer, he can't just not commit to the ball and wait to lose. <laughs> you know, like it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, it's not a uh, stunning indictment of Sniperino's terrible play or, or Tree's amazing play. It's just, it's just a sad situation that Chaos aren't as good at winning games of Blood Bowl as Wood Elves are. <laughs> but yes, that is, I mean, that is accurate. Yes. <laughs> At least it gives us something to talk about, you know, the, the, when it's a comedy of error game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he had to go in, but the, the problem is, what do you do after it? Get, get your best player banged out <laughs> and lose anyway. <laughs> but yeah, he's And maybe your second best player who also gets banged out by a tree, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, what, what can you, like, literally, what can you do? You, you've got to go for it and. If tree rolls some dice, well, you're back to square one. Despite the your terrible overcommit and her weird <coughs> midfield nothing <laughs> turn. Misspelled setting up another two D loner block because why not? Yeah, well, when you've got when you've got a, when loners are most of your team, <laughs> you've got to yeah. you've got to roll <laughs> with it. Is that? Did it gotta use them? And it has worked pretty spectacularly as well, hasn't it? So. Yeah. Ooh, tree has finally taken root. <clears throat> oh, what do we know? What do we know? That goat doing a stellar job there, yeah. making the tree root up. <laughs> yeah, glorious oh, played, goat. Glorious goat. If it had been, if it had been the other one, maybe the tree doesn't even hit. But because it's the because it's the claw form, we've got to make that hit. Oh, a failed dodge. We're running low on elves. Yes. Damage done though, innit? Damage done. Yeah, damage is done, yeah. Um One D wrestle for a two possible two D on the ball. I think with a rookie goat. I think maybe you just dodge double GFI to hit with the rest. But then you can't break the screen, so you've maybe just gotta maybe you just gotta blitz this loner and, and jam in and hope for the best. Or will blitz this yeah. blitz this catcher. Yeah, the catch is the Basically. scariest piece, yeah. I think you wanna Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you can't afford to lose. Oh you've got to dodge to hit the catcher though. Oh no, probably should have That guy's got tackle. There you go. Oh oh yeah, this guy's got tackle and three dice. Okay, this is much better. I was thinking there's Rackler. But yeah, I didn't see his tackle. There Ready. you go. Glorious. That's what we're talking about. Glorious. Die, Elf. Die. He's pretty dead with minus agility. Oh, bloody Apo. Apo <laughs> should be banned from Wood Elf teams. <laughs> <laughs> should we give them a uh, regen instead? Yeah, just make him a bit more scary. <laughs> Uh, yeah, out of cheese error. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like exactly right. That's the thing. I mean, there's multiple teams like that. Lizards would people. They, could you imagine the outcry if if lizards had not existed? <laughs> and like, and then someone's like, yeah, how about how about a team with seven strength four plus <laughs> and like incredibly <laughs> mobile stunty players? Like it's insane, right? People, and that, that's why all of the all of the extra teams that were made were absolutely shit on purpose because they were terrified of people not being happy about it. Maybe this guy just rotates with this one, right? He he comes back as the safety with tackle. But then he is a better safety. Yeah, he's a better safety, but also who cares about the safety? You've got to push forward. So like it's so hard. It's so hard for these teams, for this team. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe bring him back to there because the problem is you really want to dodge right and get him over here, but you can't well, dodge him. Now you just want to leave a safety like 
behind the DP to secure that middle bit. Yes, maybe, and then just try and dodge the water up the core pommel. Or, or just dodge the core pommel there, but then... Wow, re-roll. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's a rowdy re-roll. It is, and I still prefer standing here anyway. Oh! <laughs> Corner amazing. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm so playing corn, honestly. No F's given. <laughs> yeah, now it probably is tit or time, and not much support either. You get to move the dancer up, you blitz him, and then you've got one cover. Or... Uh, can the loner? How far can the loner get? Or you run over here. Yeah, with that failed GFI in the care square, yeah. you can go right a bit. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, the the tree can like complete the sc uh, screen, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then lone dodge up there, and then he comes through. It's not easy though. Isn't? Can you one dice with the ball and the chaos for it? Is that terrible? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess you could. And then this actually r r frees this up, which is really nice, isn't it? So... Yeah, it just gets all your players in one spot. Yeah, you could even dodge out the uh, guard first, and then you could then you could hit him, and then that gives you that two plus out, which is pretty nice. I didn't hate the retreat here. Br uh, pull the elves back. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point as well. Just turtle with four, five players. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate that. Um, I, I, I hate the because uh, this is essentially going to be a potato, and I, yeah, <laughs> not a fan of this. There's a two plus think... to get one round. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So he's going over that, going over that way to get there. It's going that way, but yeah, just a different way. It gets deeper. Gets deeper penetration this way. Because the loner goes and tags the wrestle. Mazum, you effing legend, just sent me a picture of a tabletop corn team being painted. <laughs> Glorious. That doesn't make them not crap Thulean. <laughs> they are absolute trash, Cole. Absolute trash. Well, not absolute trash. Nurgle are absolute trash, but Corn are not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Corn yeah. are trash and fun. <laughs> Nurgle are just trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poor old Nurgle. Absolutely useless now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then tag. So, so tag out with a loner, and then try to get this one through to to screen as well. It's not easy. Surely, once they're painted, they stop being crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, there we had we had somebody like that who wanted to join a local league with augers and like. I was like, I said, he was my mate's, oh god, my mate's wife's brother. <laughs> that's that's who he was. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you've got to talk him out of using ogres. Like, you just have to talk him out of using ogres. There's no way on earth. And then, like, uh, obviously, I like, it, it, I don't think, I just, honestly, my mate is quite competitive, and I think he just wanted the free wins, which is fucking stupid. But you know, I just think that's what he wanted, so he Why? didn't talk well him out of it. I guess it was two pluses instead of three pluses, but it was yeah. more dice. Yeah, it, it might have been better. It may well have been better. I'm not sure about this just tag, though. I think I think I'd like to have got up and through, but I guess you don't have to, right? Because he's got one turn to, to get you. So, and this is this is real nice, isn't it? As well, tagging from there is better because now it's a screen. <coughs> and yeah, this Miss is pretty cool. used Yeah, this the, is pretty um... good. This is pretty good. Oh, this is the Rackler though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what you've got to do is punch this guy and then dodge Blitz with the Rackler. Oh, yeah. Good utilisation of the rooted tree here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think I thought that was like what you had to do. And it was yeah. a good Blitz direction and everything. Really good turn from tree, I, I think. Uh, oh, I've missed that comment from Larry. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, you can, you can buy followers, primes, and viewers on some. <laughs> oh, it was one of them, was it? All yeah. oh, right, okay. It wasn't anything really hostile then. Yeah. Oh, nothing fun. <laughs> you don't get banned for calling Jim a C nut. 
<laughs> you get invited to a commentary position. <laughs> it's just so hard, isn't it? He, he didn't need more left behind. That was the problem. But then he had to. He had to make something happen as well. It was just. It's just brutal, wasn't it? It was just a just a brutal spot. Yeah. If it was nil nil, maybe you could have been a bit safer. But being one nil down, it's just you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing. <laughs> we have the canoeing threat. There was somebody it's who tried easy. to get banned here, David. He literally tried to get banned for ages, and then when I finally banned him, he was like, he put in an unban request, and I'm like, fuck off, you dickhead, you told me you were trying to get banned, I'm not just going to unban you now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even punch the wrestle guy. I guess not, because he's, uh, he's your, he's your, you don't need him out of the way, do you? Yeah, nope. and then he's your recovery, so yeah. And we got, got it. Ooh, got him. Uh, no, no armor, armor break. break. But you've got recovery and a pass downfield to a god. Ugh. <laughs> I really want this to work for snipers' <laughs> kills right now. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Kiss of death, calcium. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now maybe what you do. Is double dodge GFI foul because <laughs> you still got two turns and no rerolls. So you don't really just want to give it up, do you? Yeah. Oh, you stomp the nuts off of that war dancer, don't you? You could do. It yeah. is. It is double dodge GFI foul, but I mean, it's so good if you get it out, isn't it? And especially. I don't think he's doing uh, it after he yeah, moved yeah. away. Well, no, I think I think he is doing it after he's moved away because he's not doing the pass now. No, he's just not even hitting with a wrestle. I think you had to at least hit with a wrestle there. Yeah. Um, but you know, uh, you know, at least for us who are still left in the competition, he should have he should have made those double dodges and foul. <laughs> I can kick it in the clam. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, <help> please. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I haven't heard that term in ages. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're not hitting. Ooh, we're not loaning hitting. <laughs> it's a brutal clam shot. <laughs> Let me. Ooh, uh, yeah, can't, can't, can't get it. But the uh, the lone Ralph can scoop it up and run away. Can he leap? Can you not leap? Leap onto it, yeah. None. Oh yeah, I just looked at the thing, but yeah, yeah, it can leap. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. It's just, it was just blood ball to. UI tricked me, okay. I mean, okay. he can't go anywhere with it, so he still gets hit, but... He could go one Maybe. square afterwards, so... No, he... don't he... Doesn't it cost two square? Oh, yeah, he's yeah, got he's, three. Yeah, he's got three if he double GFIs. One, 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 one. God, so toxic, Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Is, Is, it even what, worth it? Is it even worth it? Because he's got the defensive... Guard right on there, but I guess yeah, this traps him. Yeah, it's pretty good. The vote the lineman has to dodge. And... Artemis is going to unfollow you for daring to misspeak. What was this about? I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> 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 I didn't misspeak, I just it just literally the blood ball to AI confused me. U UI, not AI, UI. Because I just thought I thought you know, thought could make it. Oh, last real He being the player, not the coach. <laughs> die! Oh! Die! Yes! Oh, yes. Yeah, that's lucky. Good. That's good for the rest of us who are in the competition. <laughs> Let's yeah. flip and go. Let's for, for the neutrals, like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, this is Mighty Blow Tackle instant. Okay, I mean, okay, you haven't can got you, the wrestle, but it's instant. Can you make it free dice? No. Come on. A righteous kill on this Agi 5 right now will make the rest of us feel really good about Blood Bowl and life. <laughs> 
Though no rerolls now is so punishing, isn't it? Like that that really there was that dumbass reroll earlier, wasn't there? Oh yeah, the GFI to hit with claw pom was so fucking bad. And to be fair, oh, yes. that that makes Sniper Reno deserve to lose, quite frankly. Yeah. <laughs> like that Sniper's was Sniper's reroll so management bad. has been absolutely atrocious. And that's coming from me. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. <laughs> yeah, there is a scoring threat still. It could, you could block, bang out this and use the one that uh, this could use this <clears throat> warrior as the relay. Ooh, that's not the best. Like, you can still assist with this one, but I would rather just put in this guy hit, hit with 3D. Yeah, and then hit with the 2K as well, so you can't get very far. Yeah. Maybe he wanted to buy along. <laughs> yeah, so you clear this and then you go to pass to the warrior, right? You yeah. Gotta, you just gotta know. <clears throat> no armor bricks. You still got the scoring for a go, and yeah. So yeah. even if you know, even if the pass as long as it doesn't fumble then it's not awful, is it? No. Oh, there's a Kaz. Overtime will be nice if it if it gets there. It helps him for overtime, doesn't it? Yeah, put in this assist. I mean, you might as well just block here as well. If you want in 36, you want in 36. Stops an intercept, possible intercept attempt as well. Yeah, yeah. It's pointless and brainless that you do it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> right, here we go. Are we about to see the often talked about but never seen tree interception? Yeah, <gasps> yeah, we could. I think it, there might be a GFI to do the pass as well. Yep. I made a fumble meme on about a tree interception way back in the day. Oh, I thought he'd done it. I thought, I thought the tree had intercepted. <laughs> he put his arm up. He went for it. But no. Oh boy, howdy. Three plus away. In fact, do you even do the handoff now? Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, no GFIs. The no, GFIs no, was the play. Was, that was yeah, brilliant was doing the option, GFIs then. Because you do the GFIs now, and then if you fail them, you've still got the scoring threat to scoop it up. Yeah, that was that was absolutely the correct play from Sniper Arena. We've GFIs. got a game, boys. We've got a game. Yep, yeah, GFIs was the correct play. Perfect. Now you foul before you. Now you foul the dancer before you score. No, boo! boo. <laughs> How good would the gang foul before scoring be? There, that would have been like fucking amazing. <laughs> I mean, maybe Tree had more of a team, and you just sort of had to get rid of that dancer. But there's no, there's no elves left. It doesn't matter. I, th I think it still does matter, but yeah, it's, it's too <laughs> high odds, isn't it? It always matters when there's an actually five war dancer on the pitch. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> all three, all three elves come back. Now there's a lot of elves on the pitch. It's going to be who wins the toss. I yeah. think the chaos have won the toss. They have. Ooh, excite. I was going to say I thought we might see the actual um, two turn from tree, which we might have, probably should have seen the second drive. Maybe. I would have liked that or a Daka. Yeah. <laughs> not not the not the famous half Daka or Yaka. <laughs> yeah. Bruno, that's exactly what we all want in every game we watch of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sniping or dicing tree, really PC. Well, I wouldn't agree with that. I would not agree with that at all. No. I would not agree with that at all. But I would say that they've they've both had they've both had moments of weakness, particularly yes. Sniper Reno's reroll, uh, like his his insane blitz with a claw pom, GFI. What? Like, Hang on a minute. The other stream are saying that Sniper Reno is dicing tree. Yeah. Are they on crack or something? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what game of blood what are they watching? I mean, isn't it normal for Chaos to never bang out an elf and get four players knocked over by a wizard? Is that not is that not usual? The Chaos <laughs> did the third removal on this wood elf team in turn twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm right. Oh yeah, they've been dicing misspelled the whole game. What? <laughs> Honestly. Some people should be banned from commentary <laughs> on this game. Seriously. Oh Let, let's not be nasty to other people's other other people in, in the world of Blood Bowl 2, Calcium. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, every I will furiously defend someone's right to have their opinion, um, but it's still shit. Yeah, that's fair enough. You can disagree, but uh, only only Orion says what happened. Um, what happened was trees. Tree's defensive. I don't know when you stop watching. Tree's defensive drive got a godly fireball. Messed up stalling it. Scored anyway. Um, then on her drive, she started losing players, and then just left repeated hits on the ball and didn't get away with it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. Oh, imagine that. Not getting away with hit, getting hits on the ball. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Bezel. Exactly, exactly. So, like you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, calcium wasn't the most uh, wasn't the most impartial, <laughs> the impartial commentator yesterday. So it's it's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, no, you know, actually, I wasn't critical of um, Crucifer at all. I don't think Crucifer played bad at all. I just no. think he yeah. played a whole lot better. Oh, you know, um, I don't even and, think you know, that. To be honest, he, he did. He did. To be fair, keep going like Crucifer's done well to recover this a lot. Yeah, there was a couple of recovery, you know, without one, one of the track from this game. Um, there was a couple of recovery turns from Crucifer that were great. But in this game, I don't think either coach has played significantly worse than the other. They've just both made, you know, large mistakes in places, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Here's the removal train. We're on the removal yeah. train now. Yeah. It was coming, wasn't it? It was always, it always, it was always going to pull up at some point, you know. <laughs> Their opinion of the game is sus. There you go. Use of use out of the uh, Among Us emote, glorious. Pop out. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Then Enzo. So, so there you go. But yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I hey, I'm a twat, right? But I'm an equal opportunities twat. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I will call it down the middle as I see it. If somebody doesn't like it, then that's fine. They're entitled to disagree with me. But you know. I don't think I, I don't think I've been too brutal on one team or the other here. You know, yeah, I would rather the bash team wins. I'm a bash coach. You know, I wear, you know, I'm, I wear my bash credentials on my sleeve, don't I? But <laughs> you know, I think Misspelled needs to have. If Misspelled manages to prevail in this, which is looking increasingly unlikely right now, I think she, um, it, it, Misspelled is a she, isn't she? Um, and. She probably needs to have a look back at this game. There, there were opportunities where she could have just won this game. She should have two turned off the second half. Yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe. I think the DAC is hard because of all the loners, isn't it? So, yeah, I think probably trying to punch it in for the team was probably the best bet. And, and then that, yeah. that when, when he had seven players over the other side, I think she should have tried to go forward or, or back. She should have gone back or forward. Right? There, was a wrestle, there was a wrestle deep. And there was a gaping hole here, so she should have either taken that space or she should have uh, covered the wrestler and dropped back. And what she did was put in two people to punch a warrior that did nothing and exposed the ball. So, yeah, that was just fucking horrible, <laughs> to be honest. When you're down players as much, you can't afford to, like, hit as many people as you can. Yeah. Not pointlessly. Like, it just, it just, it was just pretty pointless, that was the thing. Yeah. Uh... Yes, great. Thanks, great, great total for you. Yeah, I think that was it. I think I definitely got the better of the dice. You know, you just didn't make any oh, removals. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. And yesterday's game, you know, I'm, enough's been said about it already. But it was just a great exhibition of Blood Bowl. It really was. Yeah, if anyone hasn't watched it, go and watch re the uh, replay. Yes, yeah, yeah. The vault's there, and you can watch it, and it's good. And there's also a replay analysis from Drunken Jim later in the night. <laughs> 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 Maybe I should put that on YouTube as well. I don't know. It was I haven't just watched that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look forward. To, I'll look forward to watching that a bit later. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Nick making the same mistake as Cruz was wild. Absolutely wild. But yeah, stop before turn sixteen. Yeah. yeah. At fifteen, we'll end the video. At you, we'll end the YouTube video at turn four, fifteen. We've won. We can stop the YouTube video now. <laughs> Do the full dial me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. On on your particular turn sixteen, Jim. It's not for us to say whether that was absolutely shockingly, horribly, stupidly bad or not. You know. <laughs> but again, you know, you're you're genuine enough to say, yeah. Do you know what? That was shit. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Um, what are the races that have never won challenges? Oh, I don't know. Not, no, Woody's have won multiple, multiple, multiple times. Uh, high Elves haven't won. Yet. Yet. Yeah. Not till this season. Uh, we're going for the ball. I guess we have to eventually. Yeah, and, and it's a, only a two or uphill. Not a, not a, not a three or uphill. Roll the one. Uh, last three roll. Yeah, Lehman Russ, and it wasn't a Blood Bowl mistake, right? It was just a, it was just a client mistake. There's the skull. GG, I think. Yep. Yeah, that's got to be GG, especially he's getting stomped. <laughs> Fair enough, I'm in. <laughs> and Skiro and, and Calcio, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I think of all kinds of words besides elitist to use. But <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good point. Skuro's on both. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. Skuro's there for both, so I guess they're equal in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for both. Come on. <laughs> I like that Skuro doesn't even say "come on," but it's like it's the only vaguely it's the only vaguely Bostonian thing I can say. <laughs> uh, it's time to stomp. Are we ready? Oh, yeah, got it. And I like the blitz for an extra assist as well. Mate. Yeah, like that was yeah. that was nice. Because yeah. that's the only chance for treating. It's still a chance, right? It's still a chance to just dodge and leap and, and uphill, and then the the catcher gets it. So there's ridiculously still a chance here. Stomp, don't no! I wanted to stomp before that oh, hit. Oh, I hated that rookie Chaos Warrior block. Hated it. Yeah, yeah, you Absolutely got no it, need for it. <clears throat> Four. Oh, only badly hurt. What the best possible outcome there for everybody left in the cup was a kill, and then somehow <laughs> Tree does the 3D uphill pal. <laughs> All the sixes in the world pass to this other one, run off, win. <laughs> but, uh, the, the second wizard comes out from Tree, fireball. Yep, yep. But uh, whoever Sniperino's playing the next round is, yeah, they're in for a torrid time because this is a very violent team. If it's, if it's a bash team, they're in a lot of trouble, and he, he came through the, the elf test somehow. Unbelievable. Like, after the start, that was quite the comeback, wasn't it, from Sniper Eno? Yeah. Or throw from tree, depending on your point of view. But uh, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it was a... a th I think saying throw is too critical. Um, but I think she definitely she, will... To she gave up the opportunities that she should have. Yeah, I think she did. I think she did, like crumble a little bit under the pressure in that uh, in the second half but I mean that was when the removal started happening and then the team isn't very good right the, the Woodell team isn't very good there's a very good player yeah. there and and, and it, it was hard to it was hard in a way to like to do things with the whole team when you've just got that one player so it, it was it, it did get hard it did we could get have hard had a second hard. edgy war dancer yeah, when you look at this, when you look at six kills and six cans, it looks ridiculous dicing, but it really wasn't because just nothing happened no. for the for the first half. And <laughs> like got with the got into the second half with a full team and the ball and one nil up, you know. So it was Elliot like the best place for us to be. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. That's a good point. Right. So um, thank you, Calcium and Muppet, for doing the commentary. Glorious to have you here. Welcome. No problem. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic. Congratulations, Sniperino. Commiserations, Miss Beltree. Stay fantastic. <laughs>